Hold. Can you give His Holiness a hand? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> 13-year-old Tilly Locky shakes the Dalai Lama's hand. It's not something many of us get to do. And this teen is using high-tech limbs to do it, she explains to His Holiness. Since losing my hands, I lost them so young, and I can't remember ever having hands, but I just, I always wanted them. <laughs> when Tilly was a toddler, she nearly died from an infection. I lost my hands to meningitis septicemia strain B when I was 15 months old. I was rushed to the hospital and they basically said that I was 100% going to die and if I did manage to live then I wouldn't be able to walk, run or do anything. As a little girl, Tilly played the piano. With a D minor chord, is it? Yep, that's it. Now that she's older, she wanted a more practical prosthetic. So she could brush her teeth, hold food, and put on makeup. These bionic arms were the answer. There wasn't many prosthetics out there for kids when I was little because they couldn't manage to get the technology in there's such a small sized hand. So we kind of set out on a mission to try and make bionic hands that could fit kids as well as adults. She shows them to the Dalai Lama. I like these hands because they look futuristic and cool and they even have my name on the side, so that's a plus. Here's how they work. They're 3D printed and really affordable, and this is what they do. You can go into a fist, you can do a thumbs up, you can go like that and pinch like that, and then you can also do that and that. Tilly is now working with a tech company to develop bionic hands for people with disabilities. So she and other teens like her can do the things they love. I'm Lee Sheps for InsideEdition.com.